That's right. Porn does kill love. Find the New Drug is a fantastic organization that um, really helps you to consider before consuming pornography. So I encourage you guys to check it out. Um, I've once heard my bottle referred to as the porn bottle. So we've had some great conversations about that, obviously, at the appropriate level. But I, I just want to be here for my students. And sometimes I'm here at the computer grading, 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 and I get kind of tired of it because I, I hate grading. The part of my job that I like is, is that. It's the conversations that, that, that spin out of how I live my life as a person who takes a stand against pornography and takes a stand for what actual, true, authentic, God-given love is, and I have a chance to, to share that with my students. So th those are the moments that I really do live for. And the moments that I get to see my students produce products, both physical products, but also um, individual, unique um, thoughts that come out of their brain after they engage with the material that we talk about in social studies. Can I, can I show you? Hold on. Yeah, so in our unit um, talking about um, Russian history and communism, we were able to make this sweet flag. And so seventh grade did an incredible job. I just dropped it. Don't break flag code, yo. And so we made this great flag by writing our vocab words on it. And I, I just enjoyed it so much to see them engage with, um, you know, vocabulary having to do with communism and Russian history, and then put on a flag and, and we were able to send it up in our classroom. Now it's at the back, and we can be proud of what we have done. And so uh, I can think of my e economics class here. They got to make money. Like, we made money, but we didn't try to spend it, so don't get us for counterfeiting. But they had to make money that was displaying the definition of what money really was. Fantastic job. I got some incredibly talented artists here in my school, and so as much as I can, I let them use those talents. Check out our maps of Russia. Oh my goodness, even taller than I am. They're amazing. Look at this, look at this. Russia, physical map of Russia. Oh my word, look at the talent. And that's not even the whole class, okay? Other kids in the class, they also were able to do some fantastic renditions of, of what the physical geography of Russia is all about. And right here on this wall too, this is like my pride wall actually right here. Uh, just how proud I am of my students and the work they put in in the classroom that sometimes, many times, actually goes above and beyond the call. And so in um, psychology, we talked about memory quite a bit. It's full of associations and that's, that's really the key concept that we came away with. Um, I, I mean, I hope we did. You know, I'm not good at explaining things every time. But sometimes, sometimes a student will take a concept and they'll go forward and they'll really learn something and they'll produce a product that, um, that just makes the teacher proud. And so these are the moments that I, I enjoy so much. So check it out. So we talked about memory. They had to memorize a bunch of different psychologists. And to memorize it, they used um, computer, computer and the different parts of a computer and how they would be for sale and represented the bits of data that way. And so other, another student also talked about dog training and how different aspects of dog training actually tell us about um, these psychologists. And so if you can make an association between an old memory of something that's easy to understand and connect that to something that's new that seems maybe useless and kind of arbitrary, then those associations can actually help you to memorize things. Isn't that awesome? Isn't it awesome how the human mind works? That's one thing that I talk about in psychology all the time is, guys, there's, there's gotta be a creator. It's got to be a designer if we are this intricately designed to have this much creativity. And so I hope that your little um, window into my classroom has, has, has been fun. Hopefully it gives you an idea of some of the things that we talk about here as we study um, economics, psychology, and um, world history. But um, I'm here to bother students. Psychology does not offer truth. History doesn't offer truth. There's, there's too much bias. And um, we handle the big questions. The really big questions. We, we were bothered today by this question, you know, how, how do you want to be remembered? Of course, I had to say that to them because my handwriting's awful, and uh, so is my spelling. They know that, but they know I care. I hope they do. Some of them have uh, voiced that, and we, yeah, we talked about what really matters. How do you want to be remembered in your legacy? And sometimes those are hard conversations about legacy and dealing with uh, adult development and death one day. But um, handling the hard issues is sometimes what it takes to process and to become a critical thinker that really engages the world with a worldview that can last even, even beyond death. And that's what I pray for each of my students. And so um, continue to pray for us as we engage difficult material, as we produce beautiful products, and as we get to spend these times together um, with this special, unique relationship, this gift that God's given me, being a teacher of these fantastic students. I am very proud of my students. So students seeing this, I'm proud of you, and I'm proud to show off what you have done. And um, I'm so thankful that God has sent me to this place to impact these students.
Epaphroditus, thank you so much for joining me in this, this journey of finding my passion and my calling. I hope that you're exploring these things out for yourself. Look what God's done. Taking us such a long way. Oh my goodness, we still have some left. There's still so much left of the journey, and there's honestly, there's so much more to this where this comes from, and there's so much more of God's faithfulness where all this comes from. I do have to say that my passion is for my students and watching them produce beautiful, wonderful products that prove their learning. But right now we're online, and right now I'm, I'm really missing some of that. Would you say a special prayer for myself, other teachers, and other students, both here at Cricks and also around the world, as we try to finish off this year well? It's not always easy. It's having the cinema to continue to do your work even when you don't have a teacher telling you when to do it and exactly how to do it. It's so, so difficult. So would you please pray with me for my students and pray for me that I would continue to be creative, to be loving, and to show the passion that I have for students and their learning and their, th these relationships that we're building, even though I can't see them in person. We trust in our leadership at school, in God, in the country of Thailand, and how he's working this all for our good and for his glory. But would you just pray that we'd have peace through it, learn, and that soon we'll be able to see each other soon. Uh, I'm so thankful that you're on this journey with me. Subscribe, like this video if you'd like more content like this, and um, continue to pray. Continue to be obedient and be adventurous. Life is way too short to be safe.